progressively be able to bowl in this tournament. It was more of a fun tournament to get him out into the competitive, see what it's like, bowl against other centers, meet friends, and understand the sport a little more as it grows. In regards to the tournament, it's a fun tournament. They weren't going anywhere if they won. All they were winning at the end of the day was the medal and the jacket. So when my wife went out to the, went in the other room, she went out to the lanes, told Grayson, we're going home, you've been disqualified for wearing a different color pants. So he got very upset, cried. Jennifer said, Jennifer said I wish I had to take a picture of him because he has his own bowling balls. Putting his own bowling balls back in his bag, he was upset. The ruling was that Grayson's pants weren't sufficient enough. He did wear a, uh, a faded black jean. I understand the rule. I'm not arguing the rule whatsoever. And the rule is? The rule is you had to wear black pants. The problem I have with is that they allowed him to bowl prior. We have a 15 minute warm up. Gore Davis was the head of the YBC program. Could have approached our team, our director. They could have approached her and said, Grayson needs to wear black pants. Give us a bit of an option to go out. Never, neither was said. So they continued to let Grayson bowl in this tournament. The outcome, I think what went wrong was, Gore Davis owns bowling lanes in Cornerbrook. He's also the head of the YBC in Newfoundland. By disqualifying the Riverdale Lane team, Gore automatically came default as first place. To me, it looks like Gore goes back to Cornerbrook. He has his prom uh, promoting his bowling. We just won provincial tournaments. Sign your kids up to my lanes. More money for him, more profit for him. I think that's where it went wrong. And for Gore to say that a rule is a rule, I'm not arguing it one bit, but how he did it, to let the kids bowl, let them win, because they, they obviously won the tournament, and to pull the parents into a room while the kids are out on the floor waiting for their medals and say, your kids have been disqualified because of a technicality over a color of pants, he should be ashamed of himself. And for him to go back to Cornerbrook saying that, we won a provincial medal. No, the three individuals that bowled on Saturday, they're the ones that won that medal. At the end of the day, what I want from Gord, I don't care about the medal. I know his kids do. I need him to make this right so it doesn't happen to another kid in the future. So A, is that he reverse his decision and give those kids back their medals? Or give this team a written apology so the public can see that he made the wrong decision. This is where he went wrong.